Hey guys, Sam filming the next update for my non-makeup project pan series where I work on hair, skin, and body products. And I do have a decent amount of empties today, which is exciting because the last several months have been really good for empties, but it's really several like deluxe size products that have helped me with my empties numbers. Starting with skincare empties, this is the Skin Proud Secure the Barrier Skin Barrier Support Cream. This was absolutely amazing. This is a fantastic affordable brand. I have done a brand review on my Instagram, which I will link down below, but the Secure the Barrier moisturizer and serum were not included in that because I got them after I posted that review, but these are incredible. And this product unfortunately is not available at Walmart, but it is available at CVS and on their website. I would definitely buy this again. It was an amazing nighttime moisturizer for me that left my skin feeling hydrated, but it wasn't too heavy or greasy. This is definitely one of the best drugstore moisturizers I've ever tried. I did also finally finish the Grande Cosmetics Revive Brightening Eye Cream. I had this in a relatively large sample jar it actually is like a regular like travel container this lasted me ages and i don't think this did anything for me it was way too thin very spreadable but it, it literally felt like it did nothing for me so i would not recommend that and then i did finish the super goop play spf 50 everyday lotion i think this is fine almost leaves a slightly sticky feeling but my makeup goes over top of this fine. I like that it has SPF of 50, but I do prefer the glow screen. So I would buy that one over that, but I will use up other minis if I get them. Then I used up a few skincare foil samples. These are things that my friend Jean sent me. The Pharmacy Green Clean Makeup Melt Away Cleansing Balm. I think this is amazing. It breaks down all my face and eye makeup really easily. I love the scent of the original. It's very light and I would totally buy this if I could get it 40, 50% off. I do think that really is just as good as the Clinique one. Then I have the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Cream. This was a little bit too heavy of a moisturizer for me, but most of this had a strong floral scent I didn't like whatsoever, and I haven't really heard people talk about that, and absolutely not. And then I used up the Clarence Total Eye Lift Eye Cream. This is fantastic. I've been through several minis. I really love this but it is just hella expensive. So whenever I get foil samples or minis, I will use them up, but I would not repurchase. I thought about it when it was included in 21 Days of Beauty, but I ended up buying my favorite Belief eye cream instead because that one was also on sale and it's just cheaper because I think half off this is still like 30 bucks, which is crazy, but it is very good. All of my other empties were body care. I finally finished the Mega Babe Happy Pits Detoxifying Under Arm Mask. I used it five times over the past month to finish it. And I have been working on this for 13 months. I will have the total uses on the screen. So happy that's finally done. And what I actually am using instead is something that I got from TikTok shop. This is the turmeric soap bar. It's supposed to help with pigmentation and I feel like I've got like a little bit of like discoloration on my underarms. It's very slight, but I just want to see if this will work for me. So this is what I'm using on my underarms, not any sort of specific detox product. And I've been through two now, two different types. And actually I used a Pacifica one before too. And I didn't really feel like it did much for me. So would not repurchase. I didn't notice a huge difference, so I wouldn't necessarily recommend it, but boy, did that take me ages to get through. I also finished this one ounce size of the First Day Beauty Ultra Repair Cream. I used it three times over the past month and I used it three times a month before. So I got six total uses out of this. And that is because I used it on my hands, on the KP, on my arms, on my legs, on the stretch marks on my stomach. I didn't just use this as a hand lotion. This is my favorite lotion of all time. I wish they had some other scented versions. They have some holiday ones and a few scented ones that are just not my favorite but I think that this is really nice and hydrating. It leaves a little bit of a layer on top of the skin, but it's not heavy or sticky or greasy. I think this is really good. I would definitely buy this again in the future on sale. Then just some random things. I finished a couple hand sanitizers. This one may have been last month. This is the doTERRA On Guard Hand Sanitizing Mist, and my mom gave this to me, and my daughter loves playing with this when I'm changing her, so I probably will save it for her to play with so she will say still I'm changing her. I don't love the clove scent of this. I probably wouldn't repurchase but if I get more for my mom I will use them up. And then I finished a Bath and Body Works Twisted Peppermint hand sanitizer. This one I had in my purse. I love the scent of this. I definitely would buy this. Again I got it on 
clearance during the semi-annual sale. But also when I bought this, Bath & Body Works has some spray hand sanitizers as well. They're a little bit chunky, but that is what I'm going to be using at least for now. Then some feminine products. I finished the Honey Pot Calming Lavender Rose Panty Spray. This just makes me feel better and feel fresher. You don't spray this on your body, you spray this on your underwear. And then I have the Honey Pot Normal Wipes. And this is something that I use when I go to the bathroom when I'm on my period. It just makes me feel fresher. But I've recently been having some like issues and I went to the gynecologist and I asked her like, could this be messing with my body? And she was like, well, it's not gonna like itself cause any problems, but it's not the best for you. Any sort of pH product, she said you should just be washing with water, which I'm like, girl, that's not enough for me. So I'm not going, I might still buy these, but I'm not gonna buy any more of the wipes. I'm not gonna buy any more of the like foaming wash that I've been using in the shower. I'm not gonna buy those anymore because again, I have been, I feel like I have like really sensitive there and I don't want anything to mess me up. So those are my empties, not a ton, but some good ones. And quickly, I wanna show you a few declutters. So I am gonna be passing on the Grande Cosmetics Full Boost Shampoo and Conditioner. I'm gonna be giving them to a friend that has more dry hair. I feel like this, I don't know if it was like over drying my hair and then my hair is producing more oil. I don't know what, but I will say my hair was more greasy when I used this. And I got to about down here in the shampoo conditioner. I used it up a little bit more, but I just want to pass this on. It just did not work for me, unfortunately. And then I've got three Murad serums that I just have so many serums and some other things I want to try over these, but if I get them again, I probably will keep these and try them out. So we have the Murad Rapid Dark Spot Correcting Serum. I used up a mini recently. I just don't have dark spots enough that I need a full size. And then we have the Resurgence Retinol Resculpt Overnight Treatment and Retinol Youth Renewal Serum. My friend Amanda loves these, so I'm gonna be sending those to her. So happy to be able to pass a few more things on. Now to show you the progress and the items that I'm still working on for hair, we have a lot of things going on. So I have the Briogeo Scalp Revival Charcoal and Coconut Oil Micro Exfoliating Shampoo and the mask. And I am using these on days where I've used extra dry shampoo or like dry shampoo two days in a row or if my hair is just feeling extra yucky. I use these three times over the past month if I didn't already say. So the shampoo is approximately down to here and the conditioner is approximately down to here. Really enjoying those products. And then the other shampoo conditioner that I moved on to would be these from Olaplex. I got these a while ago when they were on sale, the number four bond maintenance shampoo and bond maintenance conditioner. I actually really like these. They make my hair feel so smooth and soft, but I definitely need to use dry shampoo the following day because I do get a little bit greasy, a little bit faster because this is so like smoothing, but it is fine with me. I'm down to here on the shampoo and here on the conditioner. My leave-in is the It's a Tan Miracle leave-in product. Unfortunately, I did not weigh this from the beginning, but since I started weighing this, it went from 3.850 ounces to last month, 3.188. Today, 2.646. I think this will be here another three months or so. And then some other hair products. I have the Grande Cosmetics Hair Enhancing Serum. I do feel like this has helped with growth because I feel like I've got a little bit more of like thicker shorty pieces here. And I use this five times over the past month. And then I had the Grande Cosmetics Full Boost Volumizing Foam. And this is something that I said I was gonna be using on days where I'm taking a shower in the morning, which I should have used this today, but I didn't. I didn't use this at all over the past month. For skincare, for makeup remover, I'm using my next oldest, which is my full size Clinique Take the Day Off Cleansing Balm. I have to insert a picture of progress. I can't remember if I had used it at all at my last update because I know I finished a mini, but I'm, I've got maybe like two thirds of this left. So this should be here for another two months or so. I love this and it makes me sad how quickly I go through it, but I actually don't use that much product. I try not to. And then for my cleanser, we have Philosophy Purity. I went from here to here. So I'm really hoping this will be done in two months max. 
because I feel like the smell is starting to change a little bit, very slightly, and I have a really sensitive nose. I feel like other people wouldn't notice it. Then I have my Clinique All About Clean 2-in-1 Charcoal Mask and Scrub, which I'm just using as a face scrub. And this is something that I'm weighing. Last month it was too heavy for the scale, but now it is 3.850 ounces. For toner, I have the Peach and Lily Good Acids Pore Toner. I went from here to here, and I forgot to pull them, but I'm gonna put this to the side because I wanna knock out a few more minis before my inventory, and I am going to be traveling next week for a couple of days. So I have a mini pixie vitamin C tonic and glow tonic that my friend Jean just sent me a couple weeks ago. So I would like to knock those out and then I'll go back to this, but I really love this product. For serum, for the daytime, I'm using the Bioma Clarifying Serum. I don't feel like this does anything for me, but I do really wanna use it up because I did buy it. I know it wasn't expensive, but I wanna to try to get through it. This went from 2.595 ounces to last month 2.389 today 2.206 my nighttime serum still working on this skin proud secure the barrier we went from here to here so this might be finished by next month which would be good to have an empty but it would be sad at the same time because i really really love this product it's something along with that moisturizer would definitely buy again so really recommend that and then for moisturizer, for the daytime, I'm using the Dr. Zenobia Aloe Vera Blemish Soothing Moisturizer, which is incredible. I love this so much. And we went from here to here. So I should finish this probably in two updates. It is pricey, so I'll probably scrape it. And then for my nighttime moisturizer, I moved on to the Murad Cellular Hydration Repair Cream. I'm really loving this. It is nice and hydrating. It has those pump tops, which is really cool. I tried to weigh this and it is too heavy. So I might just try to weigh it every update, but take a picture of the inside to see. But this is a very intense moisturizer, which works totally fine for nighttime for me. I feel like this is gonna be here a long time. And then for my under eyes, I'm using this combo right now. This is the Dr. Barbara Sturm Super Anti-Aging Eye Serum. I got this from Skeepers and I actually have been using this morning and night on just my left under eye because I wanna see if there is a big difference. I wish I took a picture beforehand because I feel like on this eye, I have a lot of like little lines right up against my lashes and here I'm not noticing them, but I'm like, was that there before? But anyway, I'm liking this well enough. I did mark it, but this is gonna be here for like a year, which is bonkers. And then the eye cream that I've been using because I wanted to just test something that I really love, the Belief Moisturizing Eye Balm Mini. This might be done by next month again, because I am going to be, I mean, it will be done by next month for sure because I am going to be traveling. And then I'll move on to a different full size. We'll see it next month. I've recently gotten a few eye creams from Skeepers, so I'm gonna be playing around with them, but that's what we got going on right there. Then for sunscreen, I forgot to grab them, but I have two foil samples of the Super Goop Play sunscreen, and I am going to take them, and I'll bring a sample jar when we are traveling next week and then whatever's left if there's anything left i will use it all up and then i want to move on to the elf woe glow spf 30. this expires in october of this year so i'm really excited to try this formula see what i think of it from swatching it it feels thicker than the super goop one so i'm hoping it won't make me too oily but we'll see and then i have the dr zenobia 10 percent glycolic acne peel pads i only used one over the past month which is not great but there's like less than 10 of these left so this should be done and I'm gonna say maybe like three months, because again, this is a product that I only use at night on days where I did not wear any makeup, which doesn't happen very often. Lastly, for body products, I have the Tree Hut Shea Sugar Scrub in Coconut Lime, and I use this eight times over the past month, and I am down to here. This should be finished, I wanna say in like a month and a half or so which is great and very exciting. I absolutely love this scent and I've really been enjoying using body scrubs more often, especially as we are in summer and I am sweatier. I really wanna make sure I'm getting in there and cleaning my body. I also saw something on TikTok where you should wash your body with soap twice. So I have been doing that also. And it doesn't seem to be drying out my skin or anything. I also have the Maylie's Relore Titan Tone Body Serum. I use this three times over the past month. 
I did not mark it, but I will. I'm about down to here. And I told you guys that once I finished that first day beauty lotion, I was going to put this aside to use a different combo. So that is going to stay on the side until, actually I probably won't use that again till fall because I have some other body oils that I wanna finish in summer. But I started with this Kopari combo of the Golden Aura Body Oil, which I am down to here. This is very greasy. And the Ultra Restore Body Butter, I'm down here. This is very thick and hydrating. And I've been slacking on these a bit, so I only use them three times each. So guys, those are my couple of empties and all the products I'm gonna be working on for the next little bit. I'm excited to see what I use up. I would love to hear your thoughts on these products and I would love to know what you are working on. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe and I'll talk to you soon. Bye guys.